Hi, my name is Leah, and this is my 90 Treasures project. My treasure is number 75 in the exhibit. A treasure is anything that is greatly valued. A treasure can even be a person. Hi, Mom. Hi, Leo. What do you think a treasure is? A uh, treasure can be things that that, that are of value, uh, things that um, you um, admire, um, things that are sentimental to you. What have you ever been to the Dayton Art Institute? Uh, I've been there uh, once when I was younger uh, on a field trip with school. Um, the only thing I really remember about the field trip is that it was a really big place and it had a lot of um, different cultural um, types of life or just just um, a lot of interesting artifacts there. Of course when I was little I didn't think of them as art artifacts. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> what do you think of the Dayton Art Institute? I think it's a very nice place to um, take your family and um, introduce them to a different world other than what they know here in Dayton. What do you think of this project? Um, I think that um, your teacher um, came up with a very interesting way of um, us to communicate and a very um, uh, I guess a nice way of us for us to um, help you with um, or see what you're doing in school and I like that I like that that you're just not pushing a pencil and you know reading a book you're broadening your horizons by using the t t today's technology Thank you for your time. You're welcome, and that'll be fifty dollars. What do you? Hi, Stephen. Hello, Leah. What is a treasure to you? A uh, treasure to me, uh, my family. What? Have you ever been to the Day Night Institute? No, but my mom said I've been when I was younger, but I don't remember anything about it. Okay. What do you think of the Dayton Art Institute? It's a museum. It would be a good place to go visit. And I think it's a great place for students to go to where they can learn more about art and expand on the artistic culture and grow more fond of the Van Goghs and the <laughs> Picassos and everything. Okay. Thank you for your time, Stephen. Thank you.